It all started on cold winter's night with one child in need. And in a world where others turned a blind eye, we held out a hand. We made a commitment, a promise, not only to the people of Texas, but to the entire world. And through the years, and as our numbers have grown, that commitment has only gotten stronger to kindness, generosity, respect, collaboration, imagination, and safety. We couldn't have known just how important that day was, the day we made a promise. Everything for the child. It's been more than 106 years since the roots of Cook Children's Healthcare System were established in Fort Worth. From the vision of Mrs. Ida Bell Turner, a Fort Worth postmistress, and the generosity of Mrs. Missouri Matilda Nail Cook, a wealthy heiress, resulted in one of the finest and largest pediatric health systems in the country, with more than 1.6 million patient encounters every year. Cook Children's Service Area spans eight North Texas counties, but our network of almost 100 access points throughout Texas allows us to care for children all across the state and beyond. In fact, we have patients that travel from every state in the country and from all across the globe for our highly specialized services and care. Services like the Hyperinsulism Center, one of six centers of excellence in the world for the treatment of this rare disorder, or Cook Children's Heart Center, where the tiniest of hearts are held in the most skilled of hands, and the Jane and John Justin Institute for Mind Health, where I am standing now, which is the home of groundbreaking research and treatment for epilepsy and other neurological disorders. We have teams leading research for the National Institutes of Health and participating in studies to develop treatment for extremely rare genetic disorders. We could go on and on about how Cook Children's leads the way in everything from cancer to sickle cell disease, and even to child life services. For generations, the city of Fort Worth has embraced Cook Children's as an invaluable community asset, and the two count each other as partners. Beneath its signature blue peaks that define Fort Worth skyline, the health system generates more than $200 million a year in direct community benefit in the form of free and uncompensated health care. It's all because of our promise, everything for the child. You may be asking yourself what that promise really means. Let me tell you, it's personal to every member of our staff, even at the highest levels of the organization. One day I was making rounds and I happened to be on the cancer floor and a young 10 year old vibrant young man came up to me and stuck his hand out and said, Matthias Utley. And I said, Matthias, Rick Merrill, so good to meet you. Come to find out he was walking down the hallway with uh, one of our activities coordinator, Trina, that's her name. And he said, who's that man in a suit? And she said, well, he's our CEO, Rick Merrill. And Matthias looked at Trina and said, I'm gonna make him my friend. I was always Rick with Matthias. I was never Mr. Merrill, which was totally fine with me. He had a very rare cancer. And I know that our physicians worked very diligently to try and help him get through this rare, rare cancer. He literally went through two bone marrow transplants. And on the second one, they were very clear with Matthias that it's likely not gonna work. However, we would likely learn some things that might help us with another child or the next child that has your rare cancer. And so Matthias absolutely said, I'm, we're gonna do this. Just an amazing young man. I happened to be uh, in a town hall meeting with our team and finished up, I was putting my papers together and one of the nurses from the oncology unit came in down to the podium and said, Rick, you need to come see Matthias. And so we got to say our goodbyes. On Sunday morning, he had passed in Abilene. I got a phone call from the father on Monday and uh, he asked if I would come speak at the celebration ceremony in Abilene for Matthias and that's what Matthias would want. As I hung up, I began to wonder how would I actually get through the speech without breaking up. I had all the nurses that had cared for him over a two year period sit down with me on Wednesday to make sure I had the full picture 
And they said, well, let us tell you about a painting that's hanging up in our infusion center, that Matthias painted. And it's a beautiful underwater seascape. And so they began to tell me that the sun was God, the wells were the doctors, the school of fish, the nurses, the dolphin breaching the water with a big smile on his face was Matthias, of course. And they told me that in the very center is a clam with a pearl in it. And he told them that Cook is the pearl and Rick is the clam because he is the protector of Cook. I think that was probably one of the most defining moments in my years and years of being in healthcare. And it encourages me every day and it's a reminder that I am the protector of Cook. Mr. Merrill's story is what we call a moment of magic. We see thousands of those magical moments, both big and small, every day, all throughout our comprehensive system. Speaking of our comprehensive system, here's something that really makes Cook Children's unique. We are one of the only fully integrated pediatric healthcare systems in the nation. That means we have all the pieces of the healthcare puzzle and can seamlessly connect the dots for families between preventative care and treatment, hospital and home, and short-term care and long-term health. None of this is possible without the unwavering support of a countless number of you over the years, and certainly not without our 10,000 incredible employees and physicians who are the heart and soul of Cook Children's. They are the ones who make magic happen every day. They put our core values on display with their imagination and collaboration that leads to innovation. Their dedication to safety elevates quality. Their respect, kindness, and generosity makes everyone feel like family. Just recently, Forbes magazine recognized this special culture. They named Cook Children's number one in healthcare on its 2024 list of America's big large employers and number three overall out of 600 companies nationwide. This year, Newsweek also named Cook Children's best workplace for women. Our employees know they are making a real difference and it shows. National recognition is certainly exciting, but what truly matters are the families who experience the Cook children's magic firsthand. Our founders, Mrs. Turner and Mrs. Cook, would be proud. Their legacies live on in our people, the patients who benefit from our care, and our collaborative community and our generous supporters. We'll never waver from our belief that every child's life is sacred, and we'll keep our promise to improve the well-being of those in our care and our communities now and for generations to come.